are you wearing? You can't take me anywhere. <laughs> Hell yeah, You're brother. You're so embarrassing. <laughs> you gotta bring out the pit vipers. <laughs> Don't zoom into my face. Can you unzooming? Okay, go ahead. Big shout out to Jake for putting his thumb over the microphone while he filmed this. I'm basically saying we're at Coil Ranch and we're about to go do a YouTube -y tour. <laughs> Cover your eyes, you don't need to see. Ninja Jake, <laughs> here we go. The whole, you look like one of those little dogs on TikTok that have wear the funny outfits. <laughs> I like it. to the top. I was a little surprised. Jake is in flip-flops. <laughs> Hard mode activated. <laughs> like look at this. this is, I would definitely recommend running shoes, especially if it's a rainy day because it's a little bit slippery. Nah, if you're a real man, you, you'll do flip-flops. Took about exactly 30 minutes to reach the waterfall and so probably about 20 minutes back because it's a decline on the way. On the way back to the car park, hopefully get a nice sunny afternoon and go spend it at Lenakai Beach. First, we're gonna try and find Jake a dry cleaner to drop off his suit because it got really wrinkly in his luggage and we have a wedding to go to in two days. So we're gonna try and find a dry cleaner somewhere and then we are going to maybe go to Rainbow Drive-In for breakfast, possibly stopping at the Dole Plantation either on the way first or the way back. I heard that the Dole Plantation is kind of more like kid oriented so doing like a tour and things like that doesn't really interest us but I still love myself some good pineapple dole whip so Giovanni's shrimp cameo what'd you say cameo cameo <laughs> go check out like the turtle beach then Ikea beach and hopefully we see some sort of sea turtles today that would be a good highlight now we're at rainbow drive-in and we're gonna get some breakfast they do plate lunches and plate breakfast here heard it had good google reviews so we're gonna check it out Sea turtle! So 
soaking in some sun rays. We saw, we were driving by Lanakia Beach on the road, like we had left already, and then we saw a bunch of people standing around the shore. They were like, stop the car, we have to go back and see the turtle. <laughs> make Shauna a headband. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be here a while. <laughs> we made these little hand woven little <laughs> spinners. <laughs> of our first hotel, now we're heading to the Hilton. We checked into the Hilton Hawaiian Village on Waikiki Beach yesterday. We had a couple points saved up from our Hotels.com account, so we were able to get this room complimentary, which was nice. We stayed at the White Sands for six nights, and then the Hilton Hawaiian Village for one night. The White Sands was actually in a really good location. They do have a swimming pool and some loungers and a bar there called Heyday. We actually attended the welcome reception there for our friend's wedding. That's the reason why we're in Hawaii, is for our friend Lucas and Fiona's wedding. And we made a little vacation out of it. So we were actually staying in Hawaii for seven nights. So we arrived on the Sunday. We ended up getting to our hotel around 9 p.m. Marigame Udon closed at 10. So we hopped over there, got some Udon noodles. It was very tasty. Went over to the Kualoa Ranch on the first day on our scooter. And then we were gonna go to Lanakai Beach, which is also sort of on that side of the island. It's a little bit of a drive, but still similar area. But we got rained out. So we've had a lot of experience driving scooters in the various places that 
that we've traveled to like Italy, Bali, you know the Philippines. I guess the time of year that we went to Hawaii it rains a lot so we got caught in a little bit of a rain spell. We thought okay let's just get a rental car so lucky enough we were able to find something 12 hours before we wanted the car which is really lucky because I've heard that the car rentals really book up in Waikiki. Rented that for the next two days so originally we had only planned on doing like the Monday Tuesday driving around but because of the weather we ended up doing three days so on the next day we went and did Manoa Falls which is a hike through a nice lush rainforest area and then we got to the little waterfall after that we met our friends at Lanakai Beach it was beautiful the sun poked through so we were able to get some nice sun tanning in and the water's really calm over there beautiful white sand beach that was the night that we went to Duke's restaurant as well so we checked out Duke's which is right on the beachfront but the following day we went we still had the rental car and we went up to the North Shore got some poke from Foodland because I've heard really good things on TikTok about the poke there surprisingly I didn't really like it I actually talked to another person that was at the wedding who also got poke from Foodland and I don't know if it was just a bad batch this week but it we weren't feeling it regardless we went over to the North Shore we went to Lanakia Beach which is the beach where the sea turtles like to come and sunbathe in the afternoons so between like 11 and 2 is a good time to see the sea turtles sunbathing on the beach and then after that we went to the dole plantation we didn't do the tour or anything like that so we just got our dole whip and got out of there did some target runs thursday where we went to the polynesian cultural center the polynesian cultural center was really cool 10 out of 10 recommend we paid for the secondary tier luau you still got like the flower lays you got a semi-private guided tour around all the different polynesian centers really educational you got to experience authentic polynesian culture and see a lot of the traditional dances and some of the activities and games so that was really fun the evening time you go to the luau the food was really amazing you got to see the pig being roasted coming out of the ground and then served literally right behind you they gave you smoothies pina colada smoothies in these little pineapples and it was just really cute it was really beautiful and then you see the show the luau show and then afterwards it also includes this big pyrotechnic production called ha broth of life and it was really done really well my husband really enjoyed it also she <laughs> said husband <laughs> <laughs> you get a lot of bang for your buck for the price that you pay it's really comparable pricing to a lot of the other luau's in the island and you just get you get a lot for it like you could spend an entire day there and we thought it was really really good and it was really fun so friday was the wedding so we were here for our friend lucas and fiona's wedding and we got to celebrate with them we went over to the four seasons on the other side of the island got to enjoy a nice evening with them celebrating their wedding day saturday was beach day and we did a catamaran tour yesterday with our friends to sort of finish off the trip so we are just packing up our bags now we're gonna go spend the rest of the day maybe by the beach or by the pool looks like the sun is sort of peeking through now Shaved ice. Cap fruit punch flavor. And I got a cup of my favorite pineapple dole whip. Enjoying our little afternoon snack. And luckily it's not raining. trip vlog make sure to subscribe give a big like if you liked it and we'll talk to you guys later bye